Okay, fifth graders, we're wrapping up chapter 11, and uh, I'm going to start you guys in on the assessment practice. What page is this on? This is page, looks like 481. So you should have done the vocabulary review and the reteaching, and uh, now I actually want you to do some of the assessment practice here. So I'm looking at these, and I'm um, looking at number one here. Julio used unit cubes to make a rectangular prism. What's the volume of the prism? You should be able to do that one. Looking at number two now, um, it says select the possible dimensions um, for a prism with the given volumes. Um, well, the given, okay, so those are the dimensions and then down here are the, um, the volume. And so you just put a check box, put a check by the box for the one that would match. So, you know, for example, if you think two centimeters by four centimeters by seven centimeters is equal to 60 centimeters cubed, then that's what you would uh, put a check or fill in. So that's one, two. Um, I had to cut this up into a couple different pieces. Three is right there. A swimming pool is 50 meters long, 15 meters wide, and three meters deep. What's the volume of the pool? Um, you could do that and be after filling the pool for several minutes the water is one meter deep what's the volume of the pool yeah these you guys should be able to do these and then four back at the top here um, yeah you should be able to do these so here we have remember um, sometimes when you have a prism like this you you need to do do them separately and they kind of done, they've done that for you already. In other words, this, this could be prism A and this could be prism B. Um, and they've already, they've already divided them up into two prisms for you. Um, you've seen some where they, you know, uh, where they didn't have it marked. In other words, that line wouldn't be there. And then you'd have to decide if you're gonna go down and divide it that way or continue with this line and go that way. So uh, they've already done it for you, which is kind of nice. Um, and then five, choose all the expressions that could not be used to find the volume of the bale of hay. Okay. Yeah, you could do that. And then um, let's see here, continuing. Madeline made um, with steps. Here's the volume of the steps. Um, yeah gosh these I don't see any here that should be really problematic for you guys in other words that you'd have a really hard time with um, of course if you do then you know we'll talk about them so give these a shot here um, then they have a performance task uh, and I kind of I, I want you guys to try this and this is uh, I cut it off I'm not sure what page it's on but it's the first part the very first part of the performance task um, that I'd like you to try. And part B, explain how uh, the number of boxes you used found in part A is the same as what you would find by using the formula. So remember, um, here's the formula for volume. Volume equals length times, uh, whoops, length times width times height which is you know what they've got there but remember volume is also base times the height so if we look at I just want to and you guys should know this by now but I just want to point out that if 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 we did base times height um, on this particular figure here we could we can't really see the base we see the roof which would be the same thing but if we, if I just kind of colored in the roof here, which we could look at it as the base, all right? Um, and actually, it would include these here. Those all would be like the, um, those cubes would be the, um, the roof or the base. I mean, if I turned it over <laughs> upside down, that would be the base, but we can't see it. So I'm doing the roof. Anyways, um, that right there that base I uh, wanted to use this okay come on trying to get a color here let's go thank you this 
is this. Okay? Then you just multiply it by height. But also remember, and I've said this to you guys before, the length times the width is the same as the base. So that's why these both work. So either formula would work. Just wanted to point that out to you guys again. I know I've done it before, but there you go. Okay, that's it. Uh, short video, not explaining a whole lot because it's all review. And uh, we will grade this, uh, what is, let's see, we're going to grade this Tuesday morning. And uh, that's it. Talk to you guys later.